Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the Tanner stages of puberty because in order to understand why we prescribe puberty blockers at a certain age, we have to understand how puberty works and what its onset looks like. And puberty looks very different um, depending on if you're assigned male or assigned female, but the stages are largely similar. And um, I'm not going to use any pictures today because I don't want to be flagged for inappropriate content. Um, so we're going to do the best that we can with words. And so the first Tanner stage of development is stage one, and this is our prepubertal stage. So ever since uh, you are born up until your first sign of puberty, this would be Tanner stage one. And in both those assigned male and assigned female, um, you'd have no pubic hair. Um, in those assigned female, they're gonna have a flat chest. And in those assigned male, um, their penis and testes are going to be small and not super well developed yet. Uh, but then Tanner stage two is when we start seeing pubertal development. Our very first sign um, in both is going to be pubic hair um, that develops. And then in those assigned female, the first sign is going to be a breast bud that forms. And this is kind of a proxy for um, estimating ovarian development, because of course the real clue for what uh, when puberty would start is uh, gonadal development. But of course in those assigned female, you cannot see ovarian maturation. So we use breast bud as kind of a substitute for ovarian development. Um, and then in those assigned male, you see testicular enlargement. And that, of course, is a sign that the gonads are becoming more functional and are going to be ready to produce sperm. And this stage happens typically between ages eight and 11 and a half years. Um, these numbers can be different depending on individual, but on average, this is where we would see it. Some people fall earlier, some people fall later, and that is just okay. Um, stage three, we're going to see pubic hair develop further and it's going to become more coarse in consistency for both those assigned female and those assigned male. Um, and then in those that are assigned female, their breasts are going to enlarge further. And then in assigned males, they're going to have increased penile length at this stage. And this is going to be anywhere from um, 11 and a half years to about 13 years. And then stage four, um, we start to see pubic hair that extends all the way across the pubis. It does not reach the thigh yet, um, but in both, you're going to see coarse hair across the pubis and um, in assigned females, the breast is going to enlarge more and the areola is going to raise. And then in those assigned male, the penile width is going to increase. And this happens around 13 uh, to about 15 years of age. And then finally, we have stage five, um, where the pubic hair extends now to the medial thigh in both those assigned male and assigned female. Um, in assigned females, the breast now has an adult contour and the areola becomes flat. And this is kind of how you know when a, an assigned female has finished their pubertal development. Um, and then in assigned males, the penis and testes are going to be their adult size. And all of this happens uh, typically around 15 years of age, but can be um, a little bit older as well. Might see it around uh, 17, but this is just uh, Tanner stage five is reaching the adult stage in both assigned males and assigned females. So I hope that this made a lot of sense. And next video, we're going to be talking more about puberty blockers and um, what age you can prescribe them at. Um, so with that being said, please uh, leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Uh, give me a subscribe and uh, hit the bell for notifications and I will see you all in the next one.